been too lonely. Marvellous. Well done, everyone. Miss Crotchet, would you do a head count? Make sure everyone's arrived. Yes, certainly, Miss Catherine. Brooms to the broom shed and less of the chatter. Hello, girls. So, how was the Witchcraft of the Year show? Fantastic. We've never seen witchcraft like it. There are witches casting spells from the tallest houses. And daredevil formation broomstick displays. And potions that gave us sounds like magic. It was amazing, Miss Joy. You should have come. Oh, I'd have liked to, but I had things to do here. Hello, Imogen. Everything all right in our absence, I hope? Fine, Miss Cackle. I'm getting my volleyball tournament set up. Oh, yes. I need to have a word about that. Girls! Girls! Wait! Before you go any further, I've got an exciting announcement to make. Miss Bronwyn Blackcat, the director of the Witchcraft of the Year show, has agreed to come here on Friday with a team of her witches to run workshops on some of the displays we've just seen. Oh, wow. I don't suppose any of you would want to miss an opportunity like this, would you? Even if it does mean calling off Miss Drill's volleyball. You don't mind, do you, Imogen? It's up, it's up to you, Miss Cackle. Thank you. I'll tell Miss Blackhead you may do Miss Drill, she put so much work into organising that tournament. All right, Miss Drill. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. This sort of thing happens all the time. Not a witch around here. You have nobody. That doesn't seem fair. Oh, I'm used to it. That's awful. I had no idea she felt like that. It's hardly surprising, is it? Maybe we could help her out. How do you mean? You won't believe what Fenny and Grizz got their hands on at the witchcraft show. They're having a chat with one of the Black Cat girls, and she gave them a recipe for a potion that would give a non-witch witch powers. Really? Just for a few hours, then it wears off. So you mean if we brewed some up and gave it to Miss Jo? It would give her a taste of what being a witch is like, wouldn't it? You know, I'm not sure Miss Jo's going to thank us for this. She won't know anything about it. We'll just slip the potion into her tea. How will she know she's got the powers, though? She'll know. Well, then she'll wonder where she got them from. I don't think she'll worry about that. Not when she realises all the incredible things she can do. Put two spoonfuls of the spider's egg powder in, would you? Not heat. We don't want to give her an overdose. It's quite chill. Oh, hello, girls. You haven't seen Miss Cackle, have you? I've looked in every room in the school for her. She's not here, Miss Crotchet. No, we've not seen her. Ah. Oh. Have you tried her office? What a good idea! Mad. Thank goodness it's her and not HB. Now, did I put that spoonful in or not? Lily! Oh, well, I'm sorry, but with Miss Crotchet walking in and... I'm sure I didn't. Are you certain? Yes. Yes, definitely. <gasps> Girls. What a waste of time. You must have spent hours pumping them up. That's how it goes, I suppose. Oh! What's that? What? Over there, by the turret. Yeah. Um, flying about. Must be some kind of bird. Oh, yes! I can't yes. see it. What is it? A kestrel? Or a sparrowhawk? Cuss it! I still can't see it. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Might you be a falcon? Maybe. Aren't you going to drink your tea, Mistra? What? Well, you don't want it getting cold. Oh, it's all right. Thank you. Well, no use standing here chatting. No. Miss Cackle wants us to practice some spells. Oh, does she? Yes. To get in the right frame of mind for Miss Blackcat and her team. Right. See you later, then. 
Bye, Miss Joe. Bye. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Come on, Imogen. Still gotta do all this. She's coming this way. How does she look? A bit flush, maybe. Is the potion working yet? How do I know? Oh, quick, she's coming! Are you all right, Miss Jim? Huh? Oh, yes. Thank you, Enid. It's a bit hot, that's all. It is very warm out there. What do you think? Possible to tell, isn't it? If it was working, surely she'd be showing it more than that. Maybe we didn't give her a big enough dose. Perhaps we should top it up. Visitors, mentors, shifters. Here we are, Miss Jill. Mildred. I thought I'd bring you some lemonade. Might help cool you down. That's very kind of you. You are all right, aren't you? Nothing's happened. No. No, of course not. I'm fine, really. All right, then. Don't forget your lemonade. I won't. What is she doing? Reading a book. Yes, I can see that. Go on, drink the lemonade. She's not going to. Yes, that's it. Inertus, inerum convertus. What? Isn't it rather expensive buying herbs from Hags and Horrocks instead of picking them from the woods? Miss Harbour says it's cleaner and more convenient, Drusilla, even if it is slightly less traditional. Hello. What is it? What you got there? Spider's egg powder. Empty. Someone's been mixing their own brew. But why so much spider's egg? It's powerful stuff. Oh! I was looking for Maud Moonshine. She was here before with Mildred and uh, that, that other girl. Enid. That's her. Miss Cattle and I wondered if she might like to do a welcoming chant for Miss Black Cat and her team. Maud, that is. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yes, of course. Thank you. So the terrible threesome were in here. Curious. Did you see Cackle's face? It was like the roof had caved in. Miss Jill can't say she was ignored then. Yes, but Cackle finding out wasn't exactly in the plan, was it? Not like that anyway. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. The potion will wear off and everything will return to normal. It's just like nothing happened at all. Except Miss Jill will have had a bit of an experience. Hello, you lot. So what were you doing in the potion lab? Pardon? Miss Crotchet told us. What's happened to all the spider's egg? What are you talking about? We found the empty jar, oh, and you were the last ones in there. I think we need to go, you two. I have heard of cases like it, Constance. Common women in the constant company of witches spontaneously acquiring witchly powers. Old wives' tales, surely, Miss Cackle. But there must be some explanation. Are you really certain she was doing magic? It wasn't some trick of the light. Judge for yourself, Constance. Miss Cackle, look what Imogen's done. It's true, she really has gained witchy powers. Clearly. You see, Constance? Yes, Miss Cackle. You realise what this means, don't you? She's become one of us. I can't believe it. 
There's so much I can do. It's like an impossible dream made real. Aerators, impregnatus, resinflatus, omnes flatus. All right, Imogen, I think you've proved your point. Are we going to have to tell the school about this? Yes, of course, Constance. We're going to have to celebrate. Mark this happy occasion with a big event. Call the whole school together and give Imogen a full witch investiture. Miss Cackle, could I have a word? What is it, Constance? I don't want to be a stick in the mud, but perhaps we should handle this with caution. Whatever's going on here, it's clearly out of the ordinary. I think we should put Imogen through one or two tests before we get carried away and start arranging investitures. At the very least, we have to be sure she really is a witch. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about me? Have you heard the latest? What? Miss Drill's been doing magic. Everyone's talking about it all around the school. She's been making things disappear and fly about and all sorts. All right, let's have a little less excitement in here. Is it really true, Miss Hardbroom? Miss Trill turned into a witch. Who told you that? Yes, Jadou, it's absolutely true. Isn't it wonderful? Thank you, Lavinia. All right, all right, just get on with your suppers, please. What earth's been going on this afternoon? First mysterious goings on in the potion lab, and then an ordinary gym mistress gets magical powers. You don't just get magical powers. You have to have them from birth, or at least spend years learning them. It just doesn't add up. Maybe she'll make a good And I wouldn't mind betting that those three know something about it. Further inquiries are definitely required. Woo! <laughs> for the potion wearing off. She's more of a witch than we are. It was that second dose we gave her. I knew it was a mistake. <laughs> it wasn't that much more. The potion shouldn't have lasted this long. <laughs> Millie, are you sure you didn't add an extra spoonful of spider's egg? Constance, she's a witch. Can't be much doubt about it. So, do I get my investiture? Cackles Academy, we have witnessed an extraordinary event, the like of which I have never seen before, nor I'm certain will ever see again. Our dear gym mistress Imogen Drill has acquired the powers of magic. However, this you know marvel this has come about. Yes, I'm sure I speak deep, for all of you deep when trouble. I say that we are overcome with delight. And if you will step forward. I will present you with your broomstick and your cat. Tokens of your membership in the worldwide family of which...
what's the inside story on this? We've been watching you. You know more about this transformation than you're letting on. No, we don't. Then why do you all look so guilty? What are you on about? Come on, girls. Let's go. Go away, Ethel. Hmm. Definitely guilty. Tapioca's prepared a celebratory meal for us, Imogen. Hillary. Pardon? Hillary Hemlock. It's my new witch's name. Ah. Oh. Is there a problem? Cheese flan, Miss Cackle? What's the matter with it, Imogen? Hillary. As witches, shouldn't we be eating cauldron food? Broths and brews. Well. We're being really traditional about it, yes. But there aren't many witches that have cauldron food at every meal. Why not? It's in a witch's code, isn't it? Well, strictly speaking, yes. Then shouldn't we observe it? I think you'll find that not even the most zealous witch these days sticks to every letter of the witch's code. Then what's the point of it? How can we foster the spirit of witchcraft if we're... Sloppy. Well, speaking of which, Constance, should you really be buying your herbs in jars? Excuse me! It's a little lazy, isn't it? Ordering deliveries from Hogs and Horrocks. I thought potions had to be made from herbs which were freshly picked. Well, if you don't like it, Miss Hemlock, perhaps you'd better go and pick some herbs yourself. All right, Constance. Very well, Miss Hargram. I'll round up some girls and do just that. Tomorrow, at the crack of dawn. Left, right, left, right. Up, two, three, four, up, two. Come on, Hubble, keep up, keep up. Third year, her fingers hot. Right. This is the target area. I want to see the whole place stripped. Third year herb pickers, start picking. <sighs> Put your backs into it. Come on, Ruby Cherry Tree. I'm doing my best, Mr. Brown. And look. What's better. come over her? This is really gone out of hand now. You and your big ideas, Enid. So don't blame me. The potion's too strong. And we know whose fault oh, that is. Dawn. What potion? Come on, everyone work. So. Work. The truth is out at last. Don't look so innocent. You knew you'd be found out in the end. Miss Cackle and Miss Harborum will be very interested to hear about this, won't they? What are you doing there? Come on, girls, no slacking. I want you over here. Come on. What are we going to do now? If Evan really does tell Cackle and HB, we're going to have to turn her back. But how? I was having a talk with Benny and Grizz, and they mentioned an antidote. Did they mention how to make it? Yes, if they remembered it correctly. So you mean if we can get back to the potions lab, then we'll have to be fast. Come on. I hope this works, Millie. How are we going to get her to drink it? Let's worry about that later. Just get it prepared for now. Oh, oh this... What's the meaning of this? You should be in the woods. Miss Hemlock... What are you doing? What's that? Um, it's... Uh... It's an antidote, Miss Hemlock. An antidote? What for? For, for you. For me? Yes, Miss Hemlock. To turn you back into yourself. What on earth are you talking about? You see, Miss Drill, I mean Hemlock. No, I mean Drill. These witchy powers you seem to have. We gave them to you. We came across this potion, you see. We felt sorry for you, being the old one out at Cackles. Do you remember the tea and the lemonade? Oh, this is ridiculous. I don't believe a word of it. Please, Mr. Earl, just take it. Have you gone stock raving mad? Leave it. Leave it! <laughs> Miss Drill, stop it! Oh, my goodness. Enid, are you all right? You see what your powers can do? I didn't mean to. It, it's all right. I'll learn to control them. They wear off. What? Your powers. They'll wear off eventually, unless you keep taking the potion. 
Well, I'll keep taking it. You'll have to, and no one knows what that will do to you. But, I mean, not after everything I've... I, I can't just... We just want our Miss Jill back. We loved you just the way you were. No, don't drink it! It's a poison those wicked girls have been fooling you with! No! Inimica, sister, stop us, resist us! Nothing. Nothing. Power's gone already. It worked. Thank goodness for that. An excellent idea of yours, Miss Cattle, in the circumstances. I think so, Lavinia. Even if it did mean cancelling Miss Black Cat's visit. A good headmistress has to put her star first. A fine and laudable sentiment, I'm sure, Miss Cackle. Even if volleyball isn't one of the higher magical arts. <laughs> Out! Nine, seven! Have you back, Mr. Thanks, girls. It's good to be back. 